us as people and as humans, when we can understand things from within or come to our own conclusion about things, we, we tend to accept them a lot more. Today we're going to discuss the differences between training, mentorship, and coaching, or being coached. There is a big difference, and all three are important, and there's a place for all three of them as well. Training is more of your typical classroom setting. There's a teacher, there's lectures, many times there's note taking, and there's homework. So that's your traditional training model. In a training setting, typically the information that is put out there is understood, uh, but many times it's not retained as well. So, But it is a, a way of, of getting the information out there. Now, mentorship is uh, uh, being mentored by a person that has done what you are wanting to do. So mentorship uh, draws from experience. Your mentor is going to tell you how they did it. Okay, do it this way. Try doing it this way. This worked for me. That's mentorship. And that is much more effective than training, um, but it's still not the most effective way of retaining the information. The third uh, method is coaching, and it, coaching is the most effective method. Coaching is working with an individual that helps you self-realize things, uh, and the answers and the, the methods for things come from within. And that is the most effective way of learning, because us as people and as humans, when we can understand things from within or come to our own conclusion about things, we, we tend to accept them a lot more and we tend to be a lot more intentional with those things. And so coaching is the best method of teaching or of developing an individual.